You know what they say? Children are the future and with Medeka around the corner, what do you think our future looks like for us here in our beloved Tana Air? Hey, welcome back! Yeah. Okay! Oh. Okay. Um, this is disgusting. Have you ever gotten that level of applause? Disgusting. <laughs> Stop it. This is disgusting. Louis face is red. <laughs> what is going on? It oh might be the light. It All might right. Be the All right. Light. Welcome back, everyone. It is uh, a happy Monday. Happy um, Monday. At the time of hearing this. And Selamat Hari Merdeka. Yeah. yeah. Last week was Merdeka. Sorry, sorry. Last week. It was last week. That oh, was last week. Yeah, it was uh, last belated week. Belated Merdeka. <laughs> uh, but, but Malaysia Day is coming. So Correct. I like to think of mm. Merdeka to Malaysia Day as like the 12 days of Christmas of Medica. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually, that's, it's it's one of the only times we have 16. the same kind of celebration, right? Yeah. And then like party days in between. Only party if, days in between. Only 16. if oh. we have public holidays between <laughs> what that is. We already goal. have like an award for like the most the public most, holidays. Right? That's really what really, 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 like just We're yeah. really on the global. <laughs> I don't think you want to add another 16 days. Oh, like. no, <laughs> no, I believe we could. <laughs> we can, we can. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today is- A lot of you are thinking uh, right now, who mm. the heck is this cutie on the chair? Okay. It's me, guys. I don't know where you're. You're have just not been watching, but we've got an incredible guest with us today yep, in the yep, studio. Yep. He needs no introduction, but if you do need some introduction, maybe you're a Singaporean or Australian watching this, mm. it's okay. We forgive you. Uh, in Minghan's good words, who you, who you, what you do. What you do. Who you, what you do. Who that's, you, that's what you do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, first thing first, uh, it's good to know that uh, I know that you call yourself a cutie. Oh. Hey, that's a very yeah. interesting way to introduce yourself. <laughs> um, so my name is Said Sadiq. Hey! I'm, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm the, no, I haven't mean, introduced that, you know. Like, yeah, He's yeah, just yeah, telling us his yeah, name, yeah. guys. I don't know. I, we got a new machine, so I'm like, yeah, try okay, okay. Yeah, I'm the I'm the member of parliament of Moa, a oh. proud uh, public servant of Malaysia and a hey. father to two cuties at home. Actual yes. cuties, uh, cats, cats. Uh, okay. One oh, got for a while. You got me, you got me wearing it for a bit. Damn like, it. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm uh, moving out, mom. Uh, oh. Two cats at home, one called yeah. Meow Meow, the most fashionable name in the world, and yeah. uh, one more Toby. Toby, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got questions about Toby later. He was implicated in... Uh, we'll talk implicated, about that later. We'll Ayo. talk about that later. I, um, I have a question, and I think this one is coming really from a place of honesty. Okay. Explain to me how your name is pronounced versus the way it's spelled? Uh, hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, so I, I've, I've heard many people botch my names many yeah. times. It'll be like Seed Sadiq and then yeah. Said Sadi the and then Said Siddiq. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I, I take it uh, with an open heart, but yeah. <laughs> the real way is Said Sadiq. Said yeah. okay. Sadiq. Yeah. What's the worst you've gotten at Starbucks? <laughs> Oh, you would not want to know that. That's uh, <laughs> it's, it's not about how it is pronounced. It's how it's it is spelt. Yeah, yeah, it's spelt. So it's uh, how do I put it without uh, Sheila? Having... Do we have a Carol Macchiato for <laughs> Sheila? No, 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 not that. How do you make it a PG eighteen? Oh, uh, so if you get what I mean. Okay. Uh, especially the second part of Sadik. <laughs> oh, uh, so yeah. can you imagine how people could misspell that? <laughs> Uh, so I leave it this, at that. I leave oh, it at that. This is real talk. I like this. <laughs> oh, okay. I like this. We're off to a great start. Uh, so we've got a lot of things we're talking about today. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy again on the action camp. Say hi, Jeremy. Hello. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Hello. Jeremy, our beautiful showrunner. Uh, where do we go from here? I, we I start think singing? we really want singing. to- Singing? <laughs> no, no, please. Um, first of all, Thank you for uh, making it on the show. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure. Dude, yeah. This is mad. I, I, yeah. I also, I just want to say for everyone, the whole hoo-ha at the beginning is we've been shooting how many episodes today? This, this is 165 165. Episodes. Ooh, this is the first time planned. all these ladies like, are coming here that's true. to watch a podcast. We, we see you. We will, only, we'll post hey, them on social media yeah, we're gonna post like after this recording. It's in celebration of America Day. Yes, yes. Yes. That's yeah. what I, they all choose the belief. After, <laughs> yes. So yeah. we, we're, we're glad you're here. Um, I think when it comes to a lot of the future of Asia, you are definitely one of the people uh, I think most qualified to talk about this. Oh, for sure. Not just Malaysia. talking about, but representing the future of Malaysia as well. But before we get into that, I think we want to try and just, you know, get down to the SS, the or original SS, the, the, original the, the SS. every daily like thing. So well, like kicking it off for sure. Christian, do you have a focus song? Like oh. the song you- oh, like, I do write legislations and Come laws. Oh, legis- so, 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it, it works. It depends I, whether, so in, in, in right. English, uh, again, this is not mm. the. Whenever I say this, people laugh. You know? Okay, okay. Uh, but still, it's the truth. My favorite uh, song is uh, the one by Selena Gomez, but it's not the 
popular Selena Gomez right, song. Right, it's a right. song called Naturally. So, right. So Ooh, it's like, okay. you are the sun. Do you and listen I am to the that? lightning? Okay. Yeah, yeah, while you do your huh? work. Is uh, that your... Yeah, when, when I want to get pumped up a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's like thunder and lightning together. Thunder even though lightning. at times it doesn't make sense. Right. But, yeah. but my, my perjuangan song, you know, oh, when oh. you want to enter a battle or war, or oh, then when I was about to, uh, when, when I was representing Malaysia uh, oh. at the international stage on debating, oh, is uh, Mentera Semerah Padi. Yes. It's by M. Nasir. It's amazing. Wow. Okay, we need to get M. Nasir on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you must. Uh, you must <laughs> we need to. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. know how far we'll so get So that's, wow. uh, it keeps me alive, you know. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. this has to be some song. So we got to check this out after that, okay? I we'll like that. Uh, <laughs> the next question <laughs> I have for you, and this one's interesting because I'm going to point at something. Mingan, the, the, the aircon controller is on the table. Oh. <laughs> But speaking of which, <laughs> check out the segue, guys. Mm. Have you ever pointed at somebody like this rather than this? Oh, oh, is it a thing? Ah. Yeah, mm. Mm. I think point out to someone. So whenever I, I get into my angry mode, right? Oh. It's, it's, this. it's always like, but it's never ah. like to the it's, person. Ah. Like, it's always right, 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 right. Correct, right. yeah. But uh, okay. usually when, uh, you know, the more polite way, people say, oh, like this, mm. you know. Because people say like, in, in I, don't, I don't know whether this is a, a part of Malay culture, but you say right. when you, Point this way, uh. they're like four of the fingers oh, pointing yeah. back at you. But my mom right? used to say that. Yeah, though. but when you point it this way, probably like you don't use your jali telunjo. Uh. Jali telunjo is like to some extent very rude. Right. So like when you do it this way, it's like less rude. Less rude, lah. Yeah. yeah. But, but to still be honest, four fingers, right? I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I, I actually do not understand the yeah. real reason behind it. Yeah, yeah. But oh. anyway, it's better to do this so, than. But this. it's a very. Uh, is, is it a very politician thing like this one? Like I, I realize like when Obama speaks as well. Yeah. He doesn't point up. It's always just, uh, you know, he's just constantly. Oh, yeah, doing that's that. true. That's true. So I'm yeah, feeling like right. maybe I need to start doing this. Then people okay. take it a bit more seriously. Um, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm fairly certain it's not yeah. the your hand gestures will not define. Okay. Like <laughs> when I'm at the fruit store, Auntie, uh, Tembika Satu? Um, it's a very. Satu? Yeah, that, that's a very polite. You notice even when uh, young people walk in front of elderly, usually uh. they'll bow down a little bit, put their hands down, and then like walk. Hey, a I do that. Yeah. So I still do that until today. But it's just, that's a sign of uh, respect. But now when I do it, especially when I'm in politics and people take a photo of me doing uh, that, it's like, uh. oh, see, you are kowtowing to oh. this particular politician. I'm like, bro, I'm like, just trying to show respect, you know, that's Older it. Older people, la, that's it, yeah, la, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it, I get it, yeah. I get it. So, I, I've never what? understood it, but they actually taught this in school, like when I was in primary school, yeah, like this whole the, thing. The, yeah, the yeah, proper way to point, But right? I've only really actually started seeing it very clearly. My memory was when you go on aeroplane on Mars yeah. and all the... Oh, yeah. Stewardess will always do this. That's true. I always thought they would give me the thumbs up and I'm like, <laughs> that, that, so that's just okay. being charming. That's things. good. Uh, Let's go on next to the next question. I think this one is a very important one. Mm. Um, a lot of people are curious. Why is Toby so chonky? <laughs> Well, uh, don't is, it, is it worrying at don't, don't, Chonky is another way to say fat, la, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you don't don't, don't fat shame my cat. La. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in a way, uh, I think maybe uh. because... Uh, he is filled with love it's true. and mm. compassion. I think, you know? I think uh, all cats should be fat. Yeah. But to be honest, I actually do not know why it's like that. <laughs> because like, you know, I really, you know, taking care of a cat is like taking care of a son, you know. Yeah. It's actually very costly, especially when oh. Toby is so picky with what food oh, uh, he okay. eats. So like, you will have the typical meal, mm. but every time about 4 to 6 p.m., he will always bug the hell out of me and will want to get the, this uh, special the tsunami, oh, the, 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 treats. The, the treats. And, but usually, I'll, you know, whenever it is like this meow, meow, and it's very sad face. Yeah. So you have to give in, right? <laughs> it's a form of like emotional blackmail. <laughs> uh, but, but the reason why I thought like Toby would still be very fit yeah, yeah. is because while he eats a lot, man, like, that cat really exercise, like <laughs> will run across the house every day, will like catch out everyone all the time, yeah. wants to be the center of attention. Whenever a crowd comes, he, he will not center, shy away, yeah. he will sit on the table. So oh, if, if there's ever a way you know, uh, if 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 anyone wants to uh, get my deeper secrets, uh, they'll really put something in the cat. But uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because the cat listens to everything. The cat, cat. yeah. There's we gotta get that some of that, man. <laughs> I think I think my Toby goodness. is uh, silently taking meow meows. That's true. That's the only meows. that's the only explanation. <laughs> because meow meow is the princess of the house. Right, right. You know, so meow meow will always act very sombong, man. Uh-huh. You'll see, and then meow meow will like, oh, we'll act like the princess. You know, when people right, come, right. will. Uh, just show herself for like a few seconds ah. and then everyone like, wow, and it will go away. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. Oh, dah pergi. She, she, I'm not going to lie. Mahal, draw mahal. She, she got the short end of the stick when it comes to names though. So like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, come on, today, today, like people are naming cats and all this like Alexander the Great, like super long names, it's right? A, it's a long name. So mine is the simplest way. Meow, meow. No one can forget. Yeah, she, and says, now, she literally says her whole name. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. So, it, see, 
I'm pretty sure. All your listeners today will remember the name of my cat because it's so damn easy to remember. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty how- sure Meow Meow is the name of a uh, uh, junk food. Oh, really? I think there's a... Meow Meow, 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 meow is definitely meow. not junk. Meow. She's like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Princess, yeah, you know. Toby is the junk food. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I like Toby. All right, so that's that's a lot about cats. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to... There's literally more questions about cats, but we're going to skip all that. <laughs> uh, now that we kind of know what you kind of do, um, what's your like... Okay, honest question. Just yeah. daily routines. Out of pure curiosity. Mm, I mean, it's mm. quite... Uh, mm, I can be mm. quite OCD in, in some parts. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So... I wake. Uh, I like to wake up early in the morning. Um, and when oh, I wake, wow. wake up early in the morning, I have my uh very set morning schedule, which often people who know me will complain because I spend a lot of time in the toilet. Okay. I don't realize when I spend a lot of time in the toilet, it's actually me doing a lot of reading. Oh. I don't know why I enjoy reading in the toilet. It's oh. another level. Like on the toilet bowl, obviously. Yeah, yeah, correct. Oh, okay, so, okay. but but you know, some strat kaba I mean, You know, you just take your phone out. I have my set. Uh, reading schedule in the morning. I have to read BBC oh, Al Jazeera. Wow. All the international press will be in the morning. Wow. And then uh, after that, uh, after getting ready, and mm-hmm. then I'll go to work. And then afternoon before lunch, I must read all my local papers, oh, wow. whether online or offline. And at night, I must do one research topic. In between, I'll do three different exercise routines uh, before showering, uh, about 5, 6 p.m. And then before I go to bed. But it's not like intense. It's just like a quick 15 to 30 minutes per session. More so, than I do. Yeah. So what time, <laughs> what, what time do you, what time does your alarm ring? Uh, in the morning or yeah, in the morning. In the morning, so, at, at night, six o'clock. No I mean so, six o'clock. I, that's I must intense sleep, for me. I try to sleep before twelve thirty, so I must get six wow. hours. Yeah. That that's intense to me. I don't don't talk about exercise. Just waking up six o'clock. Just yeah, yeah. No love. <laughs> no, once once you get used, once you schedulize it, uh, you get used to it. Yeah, oh my so God. it's not as painful. That is crazy. But I mean, you know, discipline is something ideally I would like to think. Well, then you should join my school, bro. The Royal Ooh. Military College. You join, you're good. Yeah. Military college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is like free free promotion for I my alma mater, you know. I just want to be told. <laughs> yeah. I zoned out when you said school. But okay. Um, yeah, we, we have some coffee for you, so yeah. please go ahead. Uh I, wow, I'm I, I got tired just listening to the schedule. That's crazy, uh, dude. That, that because okay, honestly, right? Wow, real deal. I don't know whether some of y'all listening uh uh understand or like relate to this, right? My parents stopped ordering the newspaper. Very long time ago, oh. like, like so, like I forgot what it means to have like newspaper in the house, literally. But now everything's online. Yeah. Correct, and then it's so much go, easier. Yeah, then you go to Malaysia Kini, then oh, to read the rest, you have to log in. I like alama <laughs> when, they, when did they start this that kind of thing. But wow, so it it's kind of like a job requirement to be always updated with news. Oh, I I have to. It's that's something which I picked up, uh, through my debate career. Oh, because wow. um, I, I want to be a global citizen. I want to be well read. Mm. Because I realize the more I read, the more I learn, mm. the more ignorant I feel. Oh. Because there are so many things which I do not know right. out there. Right. Um. So this is a habit which I want to carry until my last days. It's, you know, I, I, it's it's a part which I want to schedulize every day. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's it's the it's it's true lah. The more you the more you learn, the less you know. That's mm. true. That kind it's of very thing, right? Yeah. Favorite news portals. <laughs> Pref- Fav- personal preference. Uh, so in, if it's in English, it will be Malaysia Kini. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. I love reading the Star as well for for their more lifestyle non political mm. segment. Mm. Um, for Bahasa, I love reading Sina Harian. I think they have oh. a lot of very interesting opinion Shout pieces. Shout out Sina Harian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not sponsored. Uh, no, yeah. not, <laughs> not, yeah. yeah. not sponsored. Definitely not sponsored at all. <laughs> not yet. Uh, not yet. But, but for uh, international press, I have my set go-to, mm. uh, which often will be BBC because it's free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Malaysian, and then, Malaysian but where I get more analytical pieces, mm. some uh, will be The Economist. But Economist is per oh, week. Wow. But instead of buying the magazine, because magazine is actually quite tedious Mm. and exhausting to read. So and, what I do and, is yeah. I subscribe to The Economist magazine, but then I download the audio version. So whenever I go jogging, instead of wasting time only going jogging, I listen to The Economist on audio. But I put it on steroids, it'll be a 1.5. So it's 1.5 becomes much faster. Yeah. Do you also run yeah. faster? Uh, no lah, I wish I could, but yeah, that's very <laughs> This, this, this dude smart smart listens stuff, to The Economist <laughs> while jogging. Oh, Sir, please. Man. What's the I, difference? You kill two birds with one stone, you know. I'm, I'm like, I need to get through the job. I need Skrillex, you know, that kind of thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, you know, I would. A lot of people actually listen to our podcast like while yeah, they're jogging. Exercise? Okay. It works. Okay. It works. So, uh, yeah. jogging, what's the piece? What's in the ears? What's the the, the ear? normal, what is it? The iPhone? The iPhone. What's the, the... Airpods, Airpods. Airpods, Airpods. Airpods. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. We're on the same page. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, okay. So, you know, but, but seriously, you will realize when you listen to a podcast, mm. you know, even, even when your listeners listen to your podcast and when they jog and exercise, you really kill two birds with one stone, right? Right, right. And, and you start to realize that you exercise better because you enjoy intellectually and at the wow. same time, while you jog, you, you start to realize that you don't feel exhausted. 
I, I'm trying to realize, but bro, I struggle to relate to exercise. I, I so, have to take a break. I mean, <laughs> when it comes day, to exercise, day. when I put on my socks, I really have to just stop there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I get a hundred plus shot. And all. Yeah. I know. Do you usually have like uh, cardiovascular problems when you put on your socks? That's where we black out. <laughs> I get the that. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> like, cardiovascular problems. I get, so your, I get the hip pains real fast. <laughs> yeah. But right. speaking about, you know, just having everything online, like news portals and everything, yeah. I personally think yeah. that there's a lot of it's it's uh I don't want to say that the newer generation has forgotten the importance mm. of reading. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but maybe because of the nature of how social media is is nowadays, yeah. with everything being so quick and so fast, yeah. um, there's very little patience or tolerance to reading something beyond oh, yeah, so true, uh, yeah. a page or two, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I I feel that maybe that's something that needs to be instilled again. That's true. Um, but speaking about just kind of like social media and how things are moving very quickly, one of the things we want to talk about was um large general elections. Yeah. Right. Uh, we saw that. I mean, it's it's never happened in Malaysia before. Yeah. Something, something, uh, someone quick other yeah. than the previous uh, mm. party yeah. took over. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I think a big part of it was due to um the social media. Yes. And how Correct. People were Amen. Just Twitter. Kind of like, you know. Yeah. Twitter yes. was tw- wow. It That's was true. the the goat platform, I, man. Yeah. Like, the updates and everything. That's true. Um, but with general mm. elections coming around the corner again. Yeah. Um, do you feel that social media has it's suddenly not a by the way thing anymore. Like but in the past couple of years. If, if, if anything, I predict not just for this election, but for future elections, mm. social media will effectively become the key makers of Malaysian politics because mm. oh, yeah. it democratizes the landscape so much that anyone and everyone can partake mm. in a decision-making process. Like yeah, literally yeah. anyone who sets up yeah. a Twitter account or a TikTok account now can do a very short video and share it with the public and their views will be heard. Yeah. And if their views are shared many times, government will have to uh-huh. heed uh, or will have to listen. Mm. Right. So effectively, now it's not, politics is not just for the power brokers, the political elites. Yeah. It's, it's open up to all. So I see it as a great form of, uh, of, of a transformative process of our democracy. For sure. Um, so it's not just for last election. I can tell you for this, Upcoming election, oh, yeah. uh, back then it's always um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to some extent WhatsApp. Next election, I think, will largely be dominated by short videos on TikTok, Reels, and will be shared widely via WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And now you see a lot of young people reading their news, no longer on, on, on all the portals I talked about. They actually go on TikTok early in the morning to get their news. Yeah, it's right? true. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and because it's so easy, it's fun, it's well edited, 15 seconds. But you yes. notice that young people's attention is getting shorter and shorter. Mm, and it's not just worried. young people. Huh? <laughs> like even when I was investigated recently by the police, that I noticed almost all of them have TikTok in their phones, you know? It's a thing. And then like, yeah. front page and my, the fact that my father, you know, is a relatively old, has like TikTok and are watching TikTok videos, if not on the app, on WhatsApp. Like, you know, early morning when you, you wake up in your family group and then- I this. love that. Oh my yeah. gosh. Are we in the same family? Um, because and I- <laughs> we, we will all have these kind of things, right? But, but back then, they always send, you know, this this- this really badly edited good morning message, yes. you know? But now it's like- With the flowers, man. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's a badly edited TikTok video, yeah, right? So it's, it's, it's transforming. I, uh, I, so yeah. Your, my dad, out of nowhere, literally, yeah. sent a TikTok link in our family chat. There you go. <laughs> I, I took a while. I thought my dad's phone was hacked. <laughs> but my dad's on freaking TikTok. Yeah, and you yeah. know, I just want to shout out to all the uncles and aunties out there. Hey, shout they out. don't know how to use social media, <laughs> but can they can download the video and then upload to WhatsApp. That's true. How, yeah, how, that's true. Why are you it's ripping people's crazy. videos? Yeah. <laughs> There's this thing called copyrights and piracy. <laughs> no, no, no. But okay. You got to share it on the WhatsApp that's, yeah. groups. That, that, that yeah, is that's true. But it's true. I think, right, like social media has given everyone like true democracy of speech mm. like because you it as much as anyone want to control anything yeah. you can't control that's true. the internet like they the hive mind they try yeah. they try right? and, and and that's yeah. great because back then mm. young politicians like myself and i'm sure many others out there mm. will never be able to pierce through the wall of information monopoly because in order for you to come into politics, you must kowtow to the same political elites, mm. the same corporate elites who control all the media houses in Malaysia, mm. who mm. then also control political parties. So it's very hard mm. to equalize the playing field. But now with social media, oh yeah, I mean, yes, you may not be reported by the mainstream portals, but your Twitter account could be shared tens of thousands of yeah. times, which mm. is the combination of reach by all mainstream media combined. For sure. So, I think that makes politics a lot more exciting. Yeah, I, I remember when, I think this was the last uh, the last elections, when they were like, there were 
reports all over Twitter yeah. that uh, voters were getting blocked and everything. Yeah. And you saw how everyone... And it was like the perfect storm because like you, a lot of Malaysians won't dare to do that in person. Yeah. But online, they were like resharing everything. That's they cool. were retweeting. They were like, hey, don't go here, go here. Mm. Over here, we need some help over here. That's and I cool. remember plugging in my laptop and I was like, like six hours just going like that. I have never felt more Malaysian yeah. than using my Twitter at that, at that point. Yeah. And I feel that you're right. This is like the biggest breakthrough in, in terms of like being able to really just do your part and people now, and, and the next one is like, okay, if anyone is trying to control the internet, I think people now are going to see that, okay, it's not just about control. People are going to be smart about what they share and exactly. they know. And yeah. they know. So with the upcoming GEs, right, um, being the first time, 18, 18 year olds are going to be able to vote. That's true, yeah. Do you feel that this is going to change the landscape and the outcome? It will not just change. It will be a perpetual earthquake not just for this election, but for future elections. Yeah. I mean, to give context, right? Um, last election, there were about 14 million people who voted. Mm. Uh, sorry, 14 million. I think about 13 million who voted. Next election, will be 21 million. Oh, man. And the additional 7 million are almost exclusively young. Yeah. Young mm. voters. Mm. And to put it into numbers as well, or percentage, Mm. Last election, there were about 40% 40 of voters who were below 40. Now, there'll be about 55 to 60%, which is a huge increase, which means that the biggest voting bloc in Malaysia will be made up of young people. The reason I feel very passionate about this, when I was serving in cabinet, I realized it's it's always a zero-sum game, right? Um, The budget is finite. Let's say it's 250 billion Mm. a year. And then there'll be all groups contesting for the budget. Mm. And it's very easy to preclude young people because people say young people are too young Mm. They are very inexperienced. They don't have networks. Yep. They often don't turn up to vote. They don't care to read about political issues, etc. Mm. But once you increase the voting block to be the most important voting block, instantly after I got only 18 true, I was able to push for cabinet to accept mm. a, a, a 6.5 billion job stimulus package wow. exclusively for the young. Previously, it was very hard to push for this. Now when they realize, ah, young people are the kingmakers, yeah. it matters. And mm. now you see, not just for one political party, for all political parties, mm. even the most traditional conservative political party like mm. AMNO and PAS are talking about increasing youth representation, Ooh. fighting for, for, for Grab and Foodpanda riders because a lot of them are young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The point is mm. that now there is a contestation of ideas on how to win over the young voting bloc. Yeah, yeah. So I think this matters a lot because it's not a, a hyper-partisan political agenda. If anything, mm. it tilts back uh, the power imbalance mm now in the hands of young people. Back then, mm. young people are disenfranchised, disadvantaged. Mm. Now, I think equalizes the playing field mm. uh, for young people. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm foreseeing like, it's going to be a requirement that everyone has to learn a TikTok dance now. <laughs> oh, dude. Right. You know, like, it's <laughs> it's going to be mad. Can you imagine it. everyone like, yeah, like, you rock up to, you rock up to parliament they're like, they early, have the, right? They have the phone at the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's got uh, ring lights and then you see like the oldest one just kind of like doing nasty body yeah, waves. Try, oh and, my and this gosh. is the funny part. Right? I remember when, when um, I was the first politicians to get on TikTok. When I was mm. on TikTok, I mean, there were so many, I mean, the older politicians and the more conservative political mm. parties saying, you know, Sadiq is misleading the youth. TikTok is like where people dance and everything. You should not incentivize young people to go on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because then you will forget their religion. Uh. <laughs> and now the same people are saying that are already on TikTok. Is that it? Right? They are on TikTok. Your whole party is on TikTok. Mm. So it's funny to see how trends change. Because if anything, I mean, the only time I dance on TikTok is like with my cat, right? The yeah. other parts, I actually do proper serious videos. Mm. Uh, just like I really uh, compress it into like one minute. Mm. Um, so I think that times have moved. It's almost the same thing. Like when I was, when I, when I was serving in the ministry, mm. uh, uh, for my very first budget, I carved out uh, allocation for esports. Yes. And when I did that, because it was, it was novel, it was the first time in Malaysia's history, I was lambasted, you know, like mm. from the left to the right, and people say, oh, ni budget budak-budak, Sadiq Menteri budak-budak, you know, esports, why are you incentivizing our young people to play games? Funny part is now they've changed government three times, three different ministers. <laughs> They've kept the budget and actually yeah. increased it. Yes. Mm. Some like the same hypocrites who say, oh, this is Buddha Buddha. This is like making yes. me- So, you know, you realize that it's okay, you know, to, to get condemned there and then. Just as long as your heart is in the right place, right, you know, right. this is the future. You invest in it. And I believe in time, people will understand. So like TikTok and like esports, mm. I think it's important for us to invest in future trends, yeah. future ideas, future industries. 
I think that's how you future proof Malaysia uh, for damn, good. Damn, give me, give damn. me, a, give me, wait, hold on. So can we get that's crazy? That's crazy. Hey. If someone put like a rap beat to that, that, <laughs> rap that shit's fire, man. That's all I'm what, saying. What they're really concerned about is I think is a cat. The cat is the one that that the, the Ajarans are jealous. There's they're a jealous. cat of the cult of cat online, yeah, right? Yeah, I think my, 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 my cat is more popular than me. I think we'll, we'll be able to. <laughs> My cat will be able to dethrone me in more. So I'm but very yeah. worried. <laughs> I, mean, I like it though. You're right. Um, I, I want to touch on uh, just like what we were talking about in terms of there is a perception of young people, um, like you said earlier, like these young people, they're not reading enough. They're not mm. getting enough information, right? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to social media, so I, it's a very fine line here because yes, social media plays such a big role in um, educating, in spreading awareness so that younger people are getting the information. Yeah. But sometimes, again, because it's taken at face value, mm. is it sometimes a danger? Because, you know, like, for example, I'm a young person. Yes. I'm about to go to college. That's true. I see a TikTok video mm. slamming like this uh, mm. politician or this, this, mm. this thing, yeah. this issue. And maybe that account is biased towards it. Correct. Yeah. I'm not, I may not put in like extra reading hours because mm. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not going to go and check Google for yeah. this. Mm. I see it, I think it's face value and then That's that true. becomes my stand on that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a very good example of that is, it's weird, but if you look at the way like the whole Amber Heard and Johnny oh, Depp yeah, case correct. was, mm. yeah. people very mm. easily took sides correct. based on just one post. Yeah. Or just one story or one picture, right? Very true. Um, do you feel that there's something that is potentially a danger for young mm. people when it comes to just kind of like looking at social media and how their own stance on issues in the country plays like that, that, that like yeah. a relation. So yeah. what, I guess what I'm trying to get at is like, um, do we need to mm. do our research a little bit more? 100%. Right? I mean, that's why social media could potentially be a double-edged sword, right? Mm. On the one hand, it democratizes everyone. On the other hand, it could actually... Uh, be a tool of um, um, fake news. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the recent uh, uh, Philipp- uh, elections in the Philippines, uh, it was TikTok which really yeah. uh, propelled uh, Marcos Jr. Yes. back into power. Mm. Yeah. And uh, if you actually watch the videos, they're like blatantly fake news. Mm. Uh, and, and, and it's not just, it's not just uh, the Philippines. If you follow the Colombian presiden- presidential elections, the same. And many of the new elections defined uh, by TikTok. Mm. So it is a double-edged shot. However, while I say that, I think people forget what is the alternative. Mm. The alternative scenario without TikTok, without Facebook, without Twitter is a world in which the political elites monopolize uh, information dissemination mm. uh, through mainstream portals, yeah. right? Mm. Uh, where they can really put in billions of dollars to control the big players, which will then control mm. the narratives in their respective yeah. countries. So, Yes, social media could be used for evil. Mm. However, that's why it is important for all users of social media to be responsible, to always fact check, yeah. uh, to always get different sides uh, of, 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 of the stories mm. uh, in order for us to become informed citizens yeah. instead yeah. of one which blindly follows a particular news. Yeah. yeah, I think a very good example of that was even just the whole vaccine oh, yes. uh, period, right? Oh. Like, like yeah. Not just young people. Uh, older people were just sharing articles. Got some warm water. I took the, I, I, oh, oh, yeah, the warm, warm water. water. <laughs> uh, I took the vaccine. Now I have a tail. It's stuff like that, right? Yeah. It's just people see it. They're like, oh, this is sensational. That's true. I'm going to share it. It's the gospel but truth. I, yeah. I think that's where the, the, the paradigm is going to shift, right? Yeah. Because uh, you're right. The only alternative is already something that's controlled. Yeah. But, but I think what, what a lot of people who are, are missing out on is we are merely the generation that saw uh, this whole digital era come into, into effect. Yeah. But kids are growing up in this digital era right. and they will learn the, the wisdom to get around things, right? They will doubt. They will, yeah. they will be critical thinkers. And I think that's the best chance for democracy we, that we got. And mm. it's, well, it's going to change. And, it, and speaking about using brains, like, let's just lead up to the next one, right? Brains, uh, being smart. Mm. Uh, something that's very, it's, it's a harsh reality as well, right? Because, I mean, you know, we, we know your debate, <laughs> study, A, right? Um, what would you have been doing mm. if you weren't uh, doing politics? Oh, teacher. That's, uh, 
I mean, when, when I was much, 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 much younger, right. I always wanted to become a singer or an astronaut. Right. Even though I can't, I cannot sing to save my life. Mm. Um, Don't believe it. <laughs> but apparently <laughs> it works still. You know, nowadays it's not like, you know, everyone is singing can sing, but hey, hey <laughs> still a chance. Hey. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm a bad singer, but I love to karaoke, you know, so that's the best <laughs> that's time. Good, I really good. dislike going to karaoke when there's a damn good singer there and I'm like, come on, we want to enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not the only one who feels this, right? <laughs> uh, but like, uh, when I was, when mm. I, when I became a better person, I really wanted to be a teacher because I come mm. from a family of teachers. My mom wow. is a teacher. She dedicated right. her life as a civil servant teaching. Mm. Uh, my aunties, uncles, are, I mean, filled with teachers. Right. So even before I joined uh, politics, I was uh, the youngest part-time lecturer uh, in right. the university. I had the privilege of teaching in more than 25 countries. Mm. Uh, even when I was active in politics, uh, then prior to GE14 where once you're active in opposition politics, you immediately lose almost all sources of income. Mm. Now I think things have changed. Mm. I could still teach abroad. Right? I could mm. still teach mm. in Qatar. I could still teach in China, Indonesia. 25 yeah. countries. So, yeah. I don't think I can even name 25 countries. I can name <laughs> a two. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Geography was not my... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Okay, like four. Thailand, <laughs> Thailand, Indonesia. Oh, Philippines. Oh, I'm smart, guys. Anyway, sorry, go on, go on, go on. Sorry. Yeah, but um, so teaching is 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 in my blood. Yeah. yeah. And what actually launched me into politics really was teaching as well, because then you know I've I've never been, uh, I mean, super interested in politics. I love doing public policy. So more the backdoor guy doing research policy work. Not like, but the, not in the front lines. Not the insurance public policy, right? No, 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 not, not that. <laughs> not that. Okay. All right. All yeah. Right, all right. But um, when I when I decided mm. uh, to speak up mm. on matters of corruption, abuse of power, not just looking from a negative viewpoint, but proposing policies. Mm. And then because of me speaking, I immediately lost my job as a part-time lecturer. My students who were about to represent Malaysia were banned from oh. representing Malaysia when it had nothing to do with politics. Oh my goodness. Then once you take away something which is so special to my heart, mm. then you force me to, 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 to uh, fight then, until the end. Then it changed from this one to this one. Ah, correct. Yeah, ah, correct. Ah, from, uh, yeah, yeah. I like that. So like basically, that. they made you who you are today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Basically, right? But yeah, so I mean, um, mm. I, I, one day, I'm mm. fairly certain uh, I will lose uh, and uh, uh, I will lose my seat or I will lose a, a particular election, which I don't think is the end of the world. Yeah. Because I think the beauty of democracy is that it allows even idealistic people to lose as well and to win yeah. because power is in the hands of the people. And when I lose, I mean, I can go back to teaching. I yeah. want to teach. Mm. I want to complete my master's in, in, in Oxford, uh, oh. something which I let go before. Sorry. So I want to, so to me, yeah. the worst thing a politician can do is where they are so reliant on politics and they're so scared of losing. When they're so scared of losing, they will do whatever it takes yeah. to remain in power. And that's yeah. where Sounds corruption familiar. happens. <laughs> but but it, is, it is the moral dilemma, right? Like, mm. like whoa, sorry, can we just uh, continue your master's where? Continue your masters in, the, in, in, in Oxford University because yeah. I yeah. want to do my, my public in 2017 I was offered in 2018 I was re-offered again uh, with scholarship so I want to yeah. I want to that's something which I've always with wanted to do uh, sorry guys let me just take a moment to understand uh, scholarship at Oxford okay but but that's that's, that's actually the no no not you yeah. not you uh, so my watch talks to me I don't know why I didn't even say Siri no stop stop alright but, but I think that was literally what we were we were leading up for in this question, right? Mm. You have the opportunity to go to Oxford, but you stayed. You stayed back in KL. And mm. I think we've been, uh, there's been a lot of this talk, like the brain drain of yeah. our country, right? The sad truth is that a lot of talents and brains just leave. Yeah. Opportunity, no opportunity, yeah. um, maybe even discrimination, you know, quota, all this mm. kind of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, what made you stay back? And in, in that terms of what made you stay back, these people who are leaving are also our best chance Correct. to make a better Malaysia, right? Yeah. Could right. you share like maybe why stay back? And yeah. Instead of pursuing the greener pasture yeah. and literally everything that's 3.2 times better or either 4.5 times better overseas. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, face that a lot. I, I just mm. want to start off by saying mm. people who leave mm. are no less patriotic than me who stayed. Thank Why you. I'm saying that? Because if anything, leaving mm. is also voting with your feet. So oh, damn. it creates um, an environment in which people start to realize that if we don't value our talents, wow. we yeah. will lose out. Wow. However, yeah. what I only what I would like to appeal to those who leave, mm. you may leave the country, but make sure that you bring the Malaysian spirit with you. I've met so many ultra patriotic Malaysians in Australia, in Hong Kong, mm. uh, in Shanghai, in many parts of the world. And despite them living, working there, earning a good living, mm. 
but they have never, I mean, the, the level of patriotism is, I mean, they will attend every single Malaysian event. They will still mm. eat Malaysian food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will still behave like Malaysian. Yeah. Right? Just um, not in Malaysia. And yeah. when, when, when it comes to voting time, they will actually fly back. Not yeah. only will they fly back, they'll pay their workers to fly back with them. Wow. So I think that's the beauty of Malaysia. Wow. And even if you look at South Korea, right? Um, during the time of dictatorship and autocracy, a lot of them left. But when South Korea uh, was, right, was back on the right footing, they mm. came back mm. and invested in your country. Indonesia, Tuna and the Jokowi, many of those who left mm. are flying back. Mm. So if anything, this is a humble reminder to me as a public servant mm. that while they are left, it is my duty, not via compulsion, but through improvement of policies mm. to make Malaysia a better country so that then they will decide to come back on their own. Wow. Uh, and, and, and that's my dream and hope for a better Malaysia. To wow. get back the smartest and brightest you realize that this country is worth investing in, it's worth fighting in. Amen. But instead of guilt tripping them, it is my job to structurally change this country for good so that they will come back on their own volition. Wow. I, I feel like every five minutes you talk, right? There's a TED talk oh, right shit. there. Wow. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, okay, shut up. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sick of this. By the way. <laughs> I think like even, even on like the, wow. on, on ground zero for us, I think it's, it, it's a question that comes out a lot in uh, studies in mm. Korea, right? Mm. Um, everyone in this room right now, we've always thought of Malaysia as just like, you know what, if I can't go there, yeah. I might have to stay back here, right? Yeah. And I think people are constantly looking for ways to like, they're looking at Singapore, can I get a job there? Yeah. They're looking at Australia, can I stay on after I study? Mm. And usually that's, that's actually the, the conversation that students have when they go to uh, England or Australia or US to stay, right? Yeah. They always hope that maybe after my degree, yeah. I might get a placement somewhere, like that'll, that'll convert me, right? Mm. right. Um, and, I, I, and, I sa and, and I saw a lot of disappointment during the pandemic when it happened. Yes. A lot of people had to have their, 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 their stay cut short because they knew they weren't going to get a job there. Yep. They couldn't burn that money. Um, a lot of people came back and I, and I, and I, and I saw the disappointment in, in conversations saying that, ah, I, I really don't want to be here. Yeah. I'm only here for a while. Yeah. But there's a bit of denial as well. Right. Um, I feel like those who choose to stay on, I agree with you yeah. as well. For us, like I think our parents have always been like, it's up to you. You yeah. guys want to go overseas or yeah. stay back? Yeah. Yeah. I think the beauty of it is that we've seen so much of what Malaysia can be. can reach yeah exactly because yeah. it's not like we have bad people the people yeah. are amazing yeah right like look at the flirts how people stepped up Correct. right yeah it's never about the people not being enough yeah so that's why i think if, if you notice while there's a lot of pessimism and negativity mm. just take away the politics yeah mm. and you start to realize that malaysia is a great country to be in even without politicians including people like me i think this country will flourish because we have the beauty of, of, of our country lies in our diversity. We have a very mm. multiracial mm. population. We have some of the smartest and brightest critical thinkers who mm. dare to innovate and think out of the box. Oh, mm. And that's why no matter who is in power, they will still innovate. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's the yeah. true Malaysian way. Um, so if anything, this is a blessed land. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the diversity, the great food, the great uh, uh, tourist spots where you can go at ridiculously cheap prices. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, we will complain a lot. We'll complain like mad, but it's not blood, yeah. in the <laughs> end, when we go abroad, we'll always remember a country like never before. So yeah. Yeah. I think, yes, we have our problems. It's great that we are critical of our problems because that pushes people like me, whether I'm in government or opposition, to make this country a better place. Mm. But I hope that we just never lose that true Malaysian spirit because yeah. this is our country which we're born in in a country which hopefully we will die in. Hey, wow. Um, I mean, you're mm -hmm. kind of right, right? It's like, without, with or without politicians, I think mm -hmm. Malaysians already feel like we're doing this without the politicians. Yeah. Yeah. So, Correct. you know, we, we, can it's you imagine wow. what more we can achieve yes. if mm. the government is actually mm. side by side? Yeah. Right? Correct. I feel like, I always put this on Twitter that, that people don't realize we're a petroleum producing country. Correct. You know? oh and we're in Lord. debt, you know. Yeah. Like my brain cannot brain this. Yeah. Like just basic econs. But let's, that's yeah. another talk for another day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think I think maybe, wow, this is this has been a this has been a pod that you should mm. put on bookmark, save, come back and make a political podcast. There's so <laughs> many things. We don't have enough political based stuff crazy. in KL, mm. like to be honest. But okay, you know, with the with the with the scene being <laughs> What's a great way to put uh, all kinds of sorts? Uh, <laughs> chop fun scene, you know, mixed rice. Uh, I mean, there is, uh, there has been always this thing because whenever we do Medeka Day, whenever we do Independence Day, right? A lot of brands or a lot of uh, people will be like, what's the first step to change? Yeah. And everyone says, go vote, go vote, go vote, yeah. which is great. Okay, yeah. we, we know the action is yeah. go vote. But 
if people let's just because I, I find that the problem is you will always tell people you want change, go and vote. Go and mm. change, go and vote. Because and then people are like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go line up. Yeah. You know, go yeah. But honestly, right, I'll I'll switch the question. Yeah. If people want change in this country, mm. what does it take? It cannot just be about voting. I mean, mm. voting is a crucial part. Mm. But democracy is more than uh, <clears throat> an election day which comes once every five years. If anything, um, the best form of democracy is something which you carry with you every day. Mm. What can you do? If you're a person at home, you are on social media, vocalize your views, agreements mm. and disagreements. And even in the smallest of ways, if five people read your posts, mm. they will be impacted by it. Talk to your families and friends in office and at home about issues which concern you. Mm. And then from there onward, if there's a petition, sign a petition. If there's a protest which you, which you agree in, join. If there's a trauma which you agree in, join. That is an everyday process. And if Ooh. you can't because you have a lot of work, it's okay. Mm. Right? Follow your time, but never ever lose interest in sharing your views or disagreements on a particular issue. Yeah. Because the best way for the worst of politicians to stay in power is when good people remain silent. Oh. And that's where the other more good people, right, who are vocal think that they are alone, that mm. there's no one yeah. who share the same views. But when we all speak in the same voice, yeah. uh, and we learn how to agree to disagree, that makes democracy louder and better. Mm. So my suggestion is, I mean, you don't have, people think, oh, you must join politics or you must just vote. It is a continuous process. And can you imagine if, if every single uh, Malaysian who believe in diversity, a moderate Malaysia, truly mm. multiracial, meritocratic Malaysia, who believes in, in, in a prosperous Malaysia, one which is governed via good governance, play a role in shaping viewpoints, not just through mm. social media, but talking mm. to your friends and family members, mm. calling them during election day, or even outside of election day, sharing news articles on WhatsApp group. Mm. Right? Uh. If we all become the amplifiers of change, yeah. I mean, a 10%, mm. if, if only 10% of Malaysians believe in that, in that, in, in that Malaysia, mm. but that 10% are super loud, share things, yeah. share your yeah. opinions, mm. we will be the majority. But if we are forever silenced, yes. then in the end, the vocal minority will decide the yeah. future of our country. That, 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 that is the quote. The quote, what, um, all it takes for evil men to triumph is good men do nothing. Correct. That yeah. is, I think that, is the most apt for our country. Yes. Because Malaysian's superpower is okay. La. <laughs> we okay. Yeah. We, we adapt the fastest, right? It's true. And you know, we are so okay with everything. Yeah. I think um, we, as a country, our okay la spirit mm. has been taken advantage of yeah, yeah, the definitely. longest time. I really am holding all my horses before this becomes even more political. Mm. I'm, we're trying to do like a chill, but there's no chill with, <laughs> with Sadiq. Um, that's 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 the part for today, dude. Yeah, that is, like, thank it's you. Where Bef it is, man. Before people need to start taking out their notebooks I and know. Uh, <laughs> jotting down more. I stuff. think it's remember to, mm. it's that's such a great place to land on mm. uh, to wrap this up because the general elections are literally yeah. anytime now. That's true. Might be uh, now. True. And, right now. Yeah. And, mm. and 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 I feel like maybe we just want to close on this before we mm. wrap up the pot. There's there is a sentiment of uh, lost hope. Yeah, uh, mm. because of what's happened in in just in the past year or mm. two, right? Mm. Um, that the people we voted for, yeah, suddenly were out, and right. there's mm. a whole bunch of people who we didn't want, yeah, mm. in the place of power, right? Yeah. And so I feel that there is again being very reactionary, yeah. as Malaysians, yeah, um, <laughs> we're a little bit, I guess, broken in the sense yeah. that why is this going to be any different? Right. Mm. I just want to share, the same politicians who stole your vote in last election by betraying the people's mandate mm. are the ones who are praying and hoping that good people like yourselves will not turn up to vote. Yeah. Because when good people like yourselves do not turn up to vote, mm. it doesn't mean that suddenly democracy will miraculously get better. It means mm -mm. that their supporters will define the outcome of our elections. Yeah. Despite the fact that their views are directly opposed to ours. That yeah. they want a Malaysia which mm. is mono-ethnic, a Malaysia which is closed, a conservative, a Malaysia in which doesn't celebrate diversity, mm. a Malaysia which is largely corrupt, mm. uh, where the system is controlled and monopolized by a few. Yeah. And that's a Malaysia which I, I, I want to fight against. Yeah. Mm. But if I don't turn up, I feel a sense of hopelessness, I'm actually just rewarding them. It's true. But imagine if we yeah. all come together, put aside that sense of hopelessness, convert that negative energy into that fighting spirit yeah. that enough is enough. This is our country too. Yeah. 
the more you punch me, the more I'll come back, rise back stronger Ooh, yeah. and I'll throw a thousand punches yeah. to you. And even if I lose, I know that I fought. Mm. I fought for my country. And I'm not someone who will merely kowtow yeah. to this sense of hopelessness. So it really, even when we won last election, it was not because of politicians like me. It's not because of a leader. Mm. It's not because of political parties. It was truly because of uh, the most purest form of democracy, which is the average Malaysian mobilizing on their own. Yeah. We didn't pay them a single yeah. cent. Mm. They went door to door talking to their family members, to their office mates to turn up to vote. They queued up early in the morning, the hot yeah. scorching heat. Yeah. And they made it possible. Yeah. And that's a Malaysia which I adore, a Malaysia which I want to defend and a Malaysia which I want to yeah. fight mm. uh, towards. So that's what we need. People's power over political elites. Let's, let's go. That's, I mean, that's where it's at, man. Oh my gosh. I... I had a thought, but uh, totally went out the door. So let's just <laughs> end, end on that. That is, thank you. Thank you for sharing all your thoughts. Yeah. All this, man, um, guys, if that, that doesn't inspire you, uh, that doesn't Ooh. push you. I just want to say we're very thankful for someone like you because as, as technically minority in this country, uh, there's only so much we can do. We've got to do it together. That's we have it. to do it together. We, we uh, hopefully the next wave of, uh, of strong countrymen mm. will appear yes. and we all will build the country that we need. But you know, but first we got to do some housekeeping. Correct. That's, that's all we got to do. Right. Guys, this has been a first of its kind podcast. Uh, thank you, Sadiq, for thank sharing Thank you so much today. for being oh, with us. Today. Pleasure. And everything yeah. you said was literally some closing words everyone can take yeah. away and insight. So, um, mm. just want to say Selena Gomez will be very proud. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. the song. So, Ryan, uh, today's song, re song recommendation is Selena Gomez. Naturally. Naturally. Natural. It's playing you right now. You guys all going to try getting ready with it. <laughs> oh get, my Get gosh. your socks on. Um, if you guys have any questions for Sadiq, please just drop it in the comment section below. We mm. will try to get him back for another podcast in the future. <laughs> Very sure. different. We I don't confirm. know what it's going to be like in the mm. next month or so. Mm -mm. The Malaysia could be different, honestly, sure. with what's right around the corner. We're, ho we're hoping. We're I hoping. look forward to joining you guys again. Oh, yes. yeah. let's go. Definitely. We're on Spotify, Apple. There's Discord at discord.gg slash the takeaway table. Follow TikTok <laughs> at the takeaway table. And you literally know where to find Sadiq yeah. everywhere. It's at Sheet Sadiq. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. Me, guys. Thank, thank you, studio well. audience, for being here. Round of applause for Sadiq. <laughs> What a man. And what a man. Cheers to me hitting the correct uh, sound effect on the way out. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great week ahead. We'll Slamat see you guys in the next one. Madeka, Hari, yes. Malaysia. See you guys and bye-bye.